What is good, my people? It's your boy, Big Drizzlax. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode here at OGHQ. Today, we're going to be talking about this pouch right here, which is the Garage Built Gear Pouch, built by a guy called Matt in a Tennessee garage. These are highly sought after pouches and they're extremely hard to get. The one way that I will recommend that you get one is you follow Matt on Instagram or Garage Built Gear on Instagram. Pay attention to the drops, have the actual pouch in your cart and have Apple Pay set up. So as soon as you can, you press refresh, they go on sale, you actually hit buy and then you double click with the Apple Pay and you might actually get one because I kind of feel like they just disappear in five to ten seconds they really are sought after like i said and if you're not quick on the draw you're gonna miss out and there's a lot of people in the comments on instagram complaining about missing out after every single drop The other way that you can get some of these pouches, let me just pull my phone out quickly. You can go on eBay. I noticed this just before I had a quiet little scroll over my uh, morning coffee and there were pouches for $417 Australian, which is $300 American, $271 as well, uh, $397. So yeah, you can go onto the resale market. You can go onto eBay, but nobody wants to be paying $400 for a 50 dollar pouch even though they are built extremely well and in my opinion they are worth paying around 200 dollars like if i couldn't get one off the site um i would definitely be paying 200 bucks to get one of these but that's just me i'm a little bit crazy when it comes to this gear and um yeah i don't really care much about paying up to get what i want so speaking of paying what i want for certain things these two patches are from pete's pirate life peter mckinnon what's up everybody we all know him a uh, famous youtuber but he has got his little side project which is pete's pirate life these patches were 94 dollars american which ended up being about 120 bucks australian so yeah it's really expensive to play in this game if you want certain things you're gonna have to pay up for it especially in the land down under now I just want to show you some of the things that I have in my pouch. This is my black and white carry, so everything is black and white like the patches. We have a number 9 YKK zip on the outside and then we have a pocket on the back as well. Also there is a pocket at the front but I don't use that really. So let's just quickly have a look what I have in the back pocket of this pouch. We have a pry bar, which is the Punisher pry bar. I got this on eBay for 92 cents. I have eBay plus, so they took away $5 and they shipped it out for 92 cents, which was pretty amazing. That is attached to a brass D shackle that one of the subscribers sent to me. And um, then we have the classic Swiss Army knife. The reason I like these Swiss Army knives over the Alox ones is because these ones have the toothpick and that's one thing that I use the most. And also, yeah, just the scissors and things like that i don't use the tweezers that much i don't use the knife part of it because i obviously have other knives in the pouch but the toothpick is something that really comes in handy and i love having on this swiss army knife so that's what's in the back of this pocket let's unzip the pouch and open her up we have three pockets right here let's get to the first item which is the lamy pico pen it's a small little pen that becomes a little bit of a larger pen about an inch and a bit i guess larger and the reason that i prefer this over the fisher space pen is because of the material they have this in a whole bunch of different colors and the material i just kind of feel like is a lot better than um, the brass, stainless steel and copper and some of the other things that the Fisher Space Pens come in. Some people are really big fans of patina. You know me and patina, patina, patina. I'm actually not the biggest fan of patina. Like I don't really like my Carter knives anymore because you kind of take them out a couple of times and then they just don't look new anymore. And it's really hard to take photos of them um, when they've been, you know, scuffed up. Same with brass. Brass is nice when, you know, you first get it. Like I got the Pete's Pirate Life pen. When I first got that, it was amazing. And then it just started to go kind of like greeny. And I just, I was just like, man, this looks disgusting. So yeah, not the biggest fan of like Mercada and brass myself. I do like G10 more and I do like the material 
that they use in these Lamy pens that it's a really heavy pen as well. You can just tell that it's made, you know, good quality and um, you're getting what you pay for. I think it was around $40 Australian. Now, Meow. we're going to go to the next item, which is a Olight 3 Baton or Baton 3. I did a whole video about this. I did a whole unboxing, so I'm not really going to talk about that too much. The video tanked. It's a couple back. So any support on that one um, would be greatly appreciated if you want to know more about this torch. It does have a case like an AirPods type case that you put it into and you can charge it in there as well. But I just keep it in this pouch in my black and white carry. That is the Olight Baton 3, an amazing little torch. The next thing is a Bic lighter. I was looking for a white version of this and it's amazing because they don't make white ones anymore they make this like off colored creamy color yeah i'm actually glad that i got it in black because i had a few too many white items for this black and white carry so it was good that that kind of came in black behind all of that we have a cloth this is for cuts or um you know polishing your knife we all know that edc guys as soon as you kind of dirty your knife straight away you know you cut something you're always like oh my god there's a tiny little bit of dirt on there let me clean it up because everything is becoming a safe queen these days and nobody really uses their knives like they should be speaking of um keeping their knives clean i just got this and this is my new safe queen which is a fox knives suru um, carbon fiber scales and it is something really really beautiful and special anyway i digress but anyways i digress we're gonna go to the other side of the pouch where we have the spyderco man bug warncliffe the black blade with the black scales this really is a nice knife it doesn't weigh much it disappears in your pocket One of the last items is this Benchmade Stormtrooper. It's the mini bug out. I just bought the bigger version of the bug out. I'll put a picture up of it on the screen. But um, yeah, this knife, it also disappears in your pocket. Really love it. I've made a lot of content about this knife already, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much. And then in the back of the pouch, we just have some band-aids because we're knife guys and you're gonna cut yourself especially when you buy a brand new knife the minute that i got this fox knife suru the other day i actually pulled it out of the box and it just nicked me a little bit so i had to put a band-aid on that cut it happens it is what it is i mean what do they say they say you play with fire you're gonna get burnt i guess if you play with knives you're gonna get cut so uh always good to have some band-aids in the background but yeah that's kind of been my little garage built gear pouch that's the things that i like to have in mind it's the black and white carry massive shout out to matt for building these and i just love his brand i love what he's doing he was actually importing hammocks from china and just putting his label on it and even though he was doing really well he decided to switch it up teach himself how to sew and he's created this big business where a lot of the stuff that he sews and puts together and and builds doesn't last on his site because it's just extremely well made it's one guy in a garage in tennessee and i love to see it so massive shout out to matt absolutely killed it on the mighty pouch it is one of my favorite pouches in my collection and i uh, hope you can get yours one day follow him on instagram and uh make sure you're paying attention to his stories and you might be able to get one as well or you can go over to ebay and pay some ridiculous price for some reseller i don't encourage you to do that just uh be patient keep trying and i think that you're going to get one of these sooner or later anyway guys i'm going to leave it there thank you so much for tuning in uh i know that i've been gone for a little bit i definitely will be making more content we're going into winter here in melbourne so the room's going to be a little bit cooler i won't be working as much and uh definitely have a little bit more time for you guys and uh your patience and support is always appreciated i'm going to leave it there till the next time that we meet it's been your boy big drizzlax a river dage.